Oh, happy Tuesday. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day, white lovers. It's Tuesday. It's October 15th. We're going to do a quick little tarot for you. I'm getting right on top of it this week. Uh, so, Divine Guidance and Living Clarity for Tuesday, October 15th. This is a new beginning. Some of you, there's a new beginning being presented by a Queen of Cups. You can do what you like with the genders. Remember, take what resonates, leave the rest. Disclaimer, these are for fun and entertainment, okay? So, Ace of Pentacle, new beginning. This is Queen of Cup energy. This is a water sign. This is like emotionally sensitive, emotionally aware. <sighs> Sometimes I get a bit of a psychic vibratory from the Queen of Cups. She's like looking in her crystal ball or her like mm, holy grail or whatever. Mm. There's a lot of burdensome energy. That burdensome energy came through yesterday as well. It's like, yo, we've got to be able to drop the defenses. If we're just going to hold on to these like, oh, life is hard and it's always hard and it's always going to be hard. That's how it's going to be, right? So it's like, how do you let go of that burden? A lot of it is actually probably just focusing on yourself and making the choice. This is something we maybe don't quite acknowledge is the power of our choosing, you have a choice. Do you want to let go of the burdens or do you want to keep carrying them? I feel like some of you do have choices, but you might be resisting the choices. There's like a new world that's wanting to come in for you guys. A new world that, that wants to be presented to us, right? And it's like, if there's too much fear, if there's too much doubt, or there's too much like, that will never work for me, then that's kind of like where you're going to stay. It's kind, this, this reading here feels to me like be open to receive, be open to receive, be open to believe, believe that there are better days, believe that there are more opportunities, believe that you can make more money, believe, believe, believe <laughs> the two of, two of wand and the two of sword is here. So, uh, double two, that's crazy. <laughs> As in, like, it's kind of wild when you shuffle, 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 and you're still pulling the same card. So there's the Magician Reverse, you guys. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aqu Aquarius. Uh, King of Swords Reverse. This Queen of Wands. So this is the fire element, bold, risk-taking, uh, and probably magnetic and attractive in that regard. The Queen of Wands is, is to me, having to, like, empower herself. I think this is more of a collective energy than, like, a gender vibratory or, like, a specific person. Um, I feel like this is some speaking to um, the feminine energy, the feminine principle, the, the void, the emotional, the mystical, this and or simply the collective all of us you me and every, and the entire human race are having to like break free from too much logic and uh, you know i'm hearing that like classic quote that most of us learned in high school at some point i think therefore i am here yeah. now we're like we're having to be Therefore, one is like being is enough. You don't have to be thinking constantly because let's be real. Our thoughts are disturbed <laughs> and or out of alignment. Like uh, um, our thoughts often aren't connected into the present moment. They're not connected to the heart. It's like that classic thing of like we're not having any kind of discussion or dialogue. We're just people shouting at each other, you know, or people being reactive and when you understand the emotional body and the re the nervous system, as soon as we're reactive, we're kind of out of our body, right? We're, we're, we're in a reaction. We've been triggered. We're not calm. We're not pro particularly clear. And thus, we have to kind of learn to regulate ourselves and be present and hold space and all this hella shazam. What is life? Nobody really knows. It's okay. There's another Mother of Cups, so it's like super dupes. Trusting your own. Sattva is cleanliness as well. So there's something there too about um, um, 
uh, this came through maybe last week or at some point, a little bit of detox vibratory. Finding the strength, connecting to spirituality, trusting that better things can come. And being in the fullness of our feeling body rather than overly logical or overly analytical or thinking too much. Um, thinking is an aspect of our being, but it's the I am-ness because I am. Not because I think or or really do anything else. It's pure I am. Yo. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have an awesome, awesome Tuesday and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Peace out.